Well, hey friends, welcome back to the cabin. While I'm waiting on Jennifer to get here, we've got a little project that we're going to work on today. We're actually going to build a spice rack. So I'm going to go ahead and get the materials, head down there to the workshop area and get set up. Well, friends, I no sooner started carrying stuff down here and guess who showed up? Yours truly. Someone had to make him work. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do today is make a spice rack. And this is the board that we're going to use right here. This is going to be our little shelving and we'll probably have to touch up some of the edges but anyway we hope that you enjoy all right friends what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of these uh clamps i'm going to clamp these together because i need to cut them all at the same length so i don't want them to move on me and i'm going to hold them while she does that now that's all right now i can cut all these and don't have to worry about them moving on me as far as length goes. Gin gin work, but then again, I do those big jobs. She does do that. Then we turn it over and we'll screw it from the back. Decided was I actually went up to the cabin 
and I got the different size spices. So this is my first size, right? So we determined that probably what we want to do is build our next one at a foot. That way I can get in and out of there really easy, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, look at you. Shoe maker and candlestick maker, right? Them's your size now, don't they? So what we ended up with here was a pretty nice spice rack. I'm going to put my taller ones, they're actually the same distance, put our taller ones on the bottom and then these right here up on the top. And time to leave. And she said it's time to be done, right? Time. So that's, I think that's pretty cool. What I'll end up doing is taking two molly bolts. I'll put one in the center here, one in the center here and fasten it to the wall. So, and we are going to touch up the sides of that. Yeah, we'll touch up the sides of that too. Do you know where the first french fry was made? In Greece. Wouldn't be a french fry. <laughs> I tell you what, if her jokes don't get any better, she's going to be in hot <laughs> Greece. Right? Um, well, you know, what's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's an animal. No. One's pretty heavy, the other's a little lighter. <laughs> Dad. Zippo. Zippity doo da. Zippity day. So if you all like these kinds of crafts and stuff, the last craft I did was I made this knife sheath right here. Click up here in the top right hand corner. I uh, think that you'll enjoy it of when I did that. Friends, thanks for stopping by. We certainly do appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time. See ya!